In the previous video, we saw how to formulate um, dif ordinary differential equations for solution in Excel. And here in the second part, we'll solve an example equation in Excel. The example that we'll use is the radioactive decay problem, where we have a concentration of an isotope changing in time, dc dt equals minus c over tau, where tau is a time constant. And the goal is to find the concentration as a function of time, and we'll do that numerically. For this equation, we have an initial condition, c at time 0 equals c0, which we'll specify. And the analytic solution, found by directly integrating the equation, is c equals c0 e to the minus t over tau. The numerical approximation using the explicit Euler method will be done by reformulating the equation as we saw previously. The new c equals the old c plus delta t times this right-hand side function, in this case minus cn divided by tau. So the first thing that we need to do is specify some of the constants. c0, maybe give it a value of 1, tau, and we can give it a value of 1, say, and then we want to give ourselves some time that we're going to solve it at. Here we're actually specifying the grid. And maybe we'll specify the delta time also, dt, and make that 0.1, say. Then our initial time will be 0. Subsequent times will be equal to the old time plus dt. And we want to dollar sign that so that dt is always the same as we pull down. That way, as we drag down in time, maybe we'll go up to 3. We can see each time is the old time plus delta t. Now our concentration, c, the first concentration is just equals c0. Now this cell, this is the important cell because subsequent concentrations are where we enter this explicit Euler formula. New concentrations are the old concentration plus this function, so we'll type that in. The new C equals the old C, Cn, plus delta T, dollar sign that, times minus the old C, divided by tau, which will dollar sign. And that's it. Then to solve the equation, we simply expand in time. Now it would be interesting to also have the exact solution to compare to. Exact, C exact. Maybe call this C explicit Euler. And the exact solution is equal to C0 times EXP of minus time divided by tau. And we'll dollar sign C0 and tau. And we'll fill that. Let's fill that down, and then we can plot these by highlighting all of the cells, and then going to our chart, adding our scatter chart, and we can see the two solutions. Let's do this with a, a line chart here, where we can see both of the uh, solutions that we found. And we can see in general they're quite close to one another, which we expect. Now, if we change the time step, say instead of 0.1, we make it 0.5, we can see the agreement isn't quite as good. And the exact, the explicit Euler solution shows some error with the exact solution. So in general, if we add more time steps by having a smaller delta t, then we get better and better agreement between the two solutions. But we can also see how easy it is to solve an ordinary differential equation by specifying our initial condition. And then in the next cell, we write oops, we, initial condition. And then the next cell, we write the formula for the explicit order method. If we suppose we have another example where we have two equations and two unknowns. In this case, maybe we have d position dx d time equals a velocity 
and the velocity d time equals gravity. And we'll say x0 we can make 0 and v0 we can make 0. So this would be the position and velocity by dropping uh, an object off of the building, say, where we measure positive velocities and positions in the down, posi down direction. Gravity would be 9.81 meters per second squared and everything would be in SI units. So we can go dt, make that be 0.1, and we can find the position, well let's see time, so 0 equals the old time plus d time. We can find the position, and in this case the position, well we'll do the velocity and the position. So the velocity, the initial velocity is 0, oops, equals 0, the initial position is 0, and then subsequent velocities are equals my old velocity plus dt times, in this case, the velocity is g. I'm sorry, dv dt is g. That's my function. Dollar sign that. It's not dt. We didn't name it. It should be dt like that. And dollar sign it. And then the position will be equals the old position plus dt, dollar sign it, times the function, where the function is the old velocity. Okay, so we can see the, the function is equals my old value plus dt times my function, which is g. Okay, for, for position, it's equals my old position plus dt times my function, where my function is the, the old v. And we can highlight all these cells, drag them down for some solution period, and then we can plot the time versus velocity versus position. And this would be the curves that we get. Time on the x-axis, <clears throat> on the y-axis, the velocity increases linearly because we have a constant acceleration and the position increases parabolically. The position increasing faster in time as the velocity increases faster in time. So this is an example of solving two, ordinary, two coupled ordinary differential equations in time. If we had more variables, we would simply write new variables, var3, var4, and have their initial conditions, and then write the explicit Euler formulas in terms of the old value plus delta t times their function, where the function would depend on all these old values, time, v, x, var3, var4, in general. But as we've seen in this example, they only depend on a couple of variables. So for instance, the function for v is simply a constant. The function for x only depends on one of the variables, in this case v, not time, not x. So that's a quick introduction to using uh, solving ordinary differential equations using the explicit order method in Excel.